whirling with around direction in English. Hello everyone. Welcome back to our ongoing series on grammar fundamentals. In today's video, we're going to take a fascinating journey with the preposition around and understand its usage in indicating direction. By the end of this video, you'll be skilled at using around in your daily English conversations. Around is a versatile preposition in English. When talking about direction, it can mean circulating, revolving, or on all sides of something. It's often used to express movement in a circle or a circuit, or to indicate a general location rather than a specific point. For instance, she walked around the park. Here, around, indicates she made a circuit of the park. The cat is running around the house. This means the cat is moving in various directions within the house. Another fun fact to note is that around and round can often be used interchangeably in informal British English when indicating direction. For instance, she walked around the block can also be she walked round the block. But remember, in American English, round is less commonly used as a preposition of direction. We often pair around with verbs of movement like walk, run, drive, and so on. It's used to show circular or aimless movement, or the idea of checking a place out. For example, let's drive around the city. Here, around is used to express the idea of driving in various parts within the city, without a specific destination. I'll walk around the mall to kill some time. This sentence uses around to suggest aimless or leisurely movement within the mall. Lastly, around is also used in some idiomatic expressions related to direction. These include phrases like beat around the bush, which means to avoid coming to the point. Run around in circles, which means to do a lot but achieve nothing. And that brings us to the end of our enlightening journey with around. I hope this video has given you a better understanding of how to use around as a preposition of direction. Remember, practice makes perfect, so don't hesitate to try out these usages in your daily English. Keep learning, and I'll see you around in our next video.